Hey everybody, this is Evan Rogers coming at you with new short videos. I'm trying to be like Instagram where all you cool kids are teaching the Japanese. I don't know how to do any of this stuff. I don't know what an Instagram is. These are my first videos. We're doing the next yokai video as should have been obvious from the uh, from the uh, title of this video. And this is going to be the second one in the series. We've already ha gone through the the a description of what a yokai actually is in the previous video and a lot of you were asking what the heck was the uh, thumbnail for that video this is Takayashi Hime this is in that yokai book links in the uh, in the description and or if you're on Instagram and in the little post thing that's there this is the giant skeleton this is the the logo that I use the giant skeleton logo uh, Takayashi Hime is a famous yokai that summoned the giant skeleton that you see in a lot of my posts from this scroll trying to kill a samurai. I'm actually not familiar with the story as well as I should be, but this is artist rendition of that story, the Takiyasha Hime from this yokai book. Today we're not doing that though. We are doing a description of what yokai are. This is some character that they have in the book named Yakumo Sensei, and this is Yokai Tanani. So apparently, Yakumo Sensei, this lady who's really wearing a lot of excessive amounts of clothing, like she's from the 1800s. Um, she's going to teach us what yokai are. So let's get started. We're going to go sentence by sentence, try to keep this short. So I'm going to read it from the book and then show you the vocab. And then we're going to go into translating it. Here we go. It says, Hi, Miyazama yokai te nani ka shittemasu ka? For some reason, random things are katakana, like this ka. I don't know why. And hi is also katakana. I don't know why. That's the way it goes. All right, let's check out what they translate to. This is going to be up on Patreon. So for all of you guys who donate a buck a month, you can get access to this. It's just vocabulary words followed by translations of the sentences so that you can look over them and try to get it all yourself. Uh, here's the first word, gakumon, which didn't appear in this video. Study, scholarship, education, a discipline, branch of learning. Shijisuru, to support, back, approve, endorse, prop, hold up. So for all of the sentences in the blue box, you're going to need to know these words. Here's the sentence in the document that I'm going to upload to Patreon as soon as I make this video and upload it. Uh, th this is going to, I'm going to put this up on Patreon so you can read it. However, that's too small for all you cool kids. So I made the sentence gigantic. I took out the katakana because that was just kind of weird. And I added the furigana so you can at least look it up on your own. Hi! Alright, so we have a sentence ending in... Well, first off, it starts off with minasanwa. Hey, everybody. I I'm addressing everyone as a subject. The verb for minasan is shtemasuka. Uh, this should have an e here. Would be if it were... Oops, that's not an e. That's an i. That's an o! What am I doing? Alright, it should have an e mas there, because this is te mas form. But when you're speaking, that e gets dropped because te mas just slurs right to temas. Very common. Alright, so, minasan, shitemasu ka? Do you know something? Are you aware of? The cause of question. And then the thing that we need to be, um, that, that she's asking if we know is marked with, uh, with, with, with this ka particle here, this ka particle. So she's asking us if we know the answer to a question. So this is a question, yokai te nani ka? What is a yokai? That's what the translation of this little chunk is, yokai te nani ka? So this is actually a small sentence, yokai te, this te right here, small to te, this is short for to you to. To imas you to, and it means uh, the thing called. So the thing called a yokai to nani ka. Uh, this nani ka is just short for your common sentence non deska. What is it non deska? When we make a plain form sentence, we uh, and and when you have a sentence inside of another another sentence, we use the plain form. So instead of saying non deska, they're gonna drop that des, so we get non ka. However, that non gets changed into a nani ka. We also drop the da, nandaka. You can say that uh, it's just not as common, nanika. So this is just nandeska right there. So yokai toyuto nandeska shitemasuka. That would be the elongated form of that sentence. Yokai te nandeska shitemasuka, but that's not quite right. So it's, hey, minasan, hey, and this hi right here, by the way, this hi. It's just, hey, everybody, hi, hi. Class starts off with the hi, hi, hi. Minasan, everybody, what? Yokai te. We could even translate this as a wa particle, really. Yokai wa nandeska, same thing. 
things called yokai, do you know what they are? Uh, what they are, do you know, is actually more literal. Yokai. The things called yokai. What are they? Do you know? That's a sentence. That's a sentence. Putting into English. Hi! Everyone, do you know what a yokai is? That's what the shit thing is. That is the first Instagram short video. This will also be on YouTube. Have a good day.